Hi, Viper Keeper here with a special remote shoot today at Reptile Gardens in Rapid City, South Dakota. My friend Terry Phillip, curator of reptiles here at Reptile Gardens, is going to give us an exclusive behind the scenes uh, view of all the different reptiles that are kept here. This is one of the largest concentrations of live reptiles on display on planet Earth. Uh, if it's a creepy crawler, if it's a reptile and amphibian, chances are you're going to find it here on display. So let's uh, go inside and begin to have some fun. This is the dome where all the main exhibits are. Uh, let's go in and have a look and see what's on display. On the lower level there's a cluster of cages with uh, smaller uh, pit vipers and a couple of elapids, uh, Borneo uh, tree viper, Trimasurus borneensis, an Okinawan habu, Oovis okinavensis, uh, your basic uh, a Mojave rattlesnake, a beautiful Echis coloratus, uh, Israeli or Arabian saw scale or Burton saw scale. Cretalus vergrandus. Uh, little polystictus, Cretalus polystictus in shed. One of my favorites, Ottoman viper. And the infamous lowland swamp uh, adder or swamp viper. This is uh, Proathrus superciliaris. Uh, Wolfgang Wooster's uh, recent paper uh, actually uh, places this in the uh, phylo uh, phylogeny of further away from Atheris and closer to Deboya uh, in all actuality. So uh, the genus will have to be further refined, but it definitely has uh, the Boya characteristics and its venom is exceptionally nasty. Uh, something that you would expect from the Boya, although Atheris uh, definitely has, uh, has its moments. Uh, but a guy this uh, big would definitely put you in a world of hurt. There's no specific anti-venom. There was one bite recorded in the U.S. and uh, luckily the guy made it, but it was uh, an exceptionally complex and difficult uh, bite to treat. Again, Proatheris superciliaris, lowland swamp viper. Woohoo! Your typical uh, Cantile, Grand Canyon uh, rattlesnake, uh, Cordylus abscissus. A beautiful uh, trim trig, Trimasurus trigonocephalus, a uh, Sri Lankan palm viper, a cute little banded rock rattler, Globuri. Now as, as Terry explained to me, the choice of substrate you see in these cages is not his. Uh, it's dictated by management of uh, reptile gardens. Uh, subsequently, you'll have to uh, excuse uh, uh, having rock crystals in with his snakes. Uh, these are your uh, run-of-the-mill Acanthophis antarcticus, uh, mainland death adders. And yes, Terry keeps more than one snake in one uh, container. And he says they bite the hell out of one another with uh, no particular ill effect. Here's a beautiful little sidewinder. There's a very, very nice and rare and protected Eastern Massasagua, uh, Sisterus catenatus. And look at this little cutie with the bug eyes. It's a Baja California rattlesnake. Cretalus enya. So that's this nice little uh, display of uh, of snakes as uh, as you enter the bottom level. 
And now we're off here to Crocodilian Land. We have a pool of uh, a dwarf caiman hanging out. And then we've got a very nice size American alligator. Very foul Cuban crocodile. Uh, these are known to be highly aggressive uh, crocodilians, uh, willing to take on uh, uh, prey items much larger than they are. Now the curator of the crocodilians here uh, has a number of noteworthy uh, kudos for, for his belt. Uh, he's the first one to successfully ever breed Cuban co crocodiles crocodiles anywhere. Uh, of course, since this is not an AZA facility, uh, he didn't get the recognition he really deserved. Uh, um, some morons uh, who were able to breed leopard geckos uh, got the kudos uh, uh, because they were AZA facilities. So boo-hoo on the AZA as usual. <clears throat> Now here we have our resident famous American crocodile. This crocodile was used in the James Bond movie, Live and Let Die. And uh, if you remember the one scene at the alligator crocodile farm where uh, James was expected to become dinner, uh, he managed to escape by running across the backs of some crocodiles. And, this was uh, one of the crocodiles that the uh, uh, stunt people uh, used. So he's a very famous uh, American crocodile. This is an endangered species found down in the Florida Keys area. Uh, our only uh, living uh, crocodile in the United States. Now here we have the infamous maniac, a very large 15 feet plus, uh, 1,400 pound saltwater crocodile from Australia. Uh, a rather uh, tough customer that you would not want to uh, take a swim with. Uh, he is just one big crocodile. But, you know, notice uh, his, his cross section in the middle you know, is maybe, you know, two and a half feet. So he can sneak up in relatively shallow water and grab you by the leg before you knew what happened. Um, ultimate top shelf predator, saltwater crocodile. Right, bud? Everybody, uh, sorry for the reflection and glare, but, uh, this is the Reptile Gardens resident Komodo dragon, which they had when he was about 75 pounds, and now he's approaching 200 pounds, and uh, not something you uh, climb in and visit with. Uh, it must be close to uh, a time in which it gets something to eat because he's nosing around the uh, uh, the back door there. Oh, well maybe he'll uh, come up here and uh, and say hello. These are the largest of the Varanids and are known uh, on just a few islands in the Indonesian archipelago. Uh, the most famous item of uh, island, of course, is Komodo, and I had the privilege in 1999 to actually visit the island of Komodo and and see dragons uh, much larger than this fellow. If you can imagine that, this is this is a relatively small individual. Uh, I've seen. Oh, well, that's very nice. Hi, how are you? Huh? Are you a good guy? Huh? Look at that, you know, that's just, just majestic. Those uh, 
claws, which you can barely see because of reflection and dirty scratched up glass from the beastie, uh, will definitely tear your hide out. And God, uh, we all know what's inside uh, under those lips. We have a uh, venom gland, we have uh, in a wild specimen, and it's not necessarily true in a domesticated animal. Uh, okay, a uh, animal that was born in captivity and not in the wild ever. Uh, the Komodos have fully developed a venom gland and duct. It's just that their teeth are a very poor delivery system for those venom. And again, I reference uh, Brian Fry's landmark. Uh, publication in Nature a few years ago, which set the uh, herpetology world a bit on end. But at any rate, that's uh, your friendly neighborhood Komodo dragon. Now, un unfortunately, the lighting is very poor here. Let's see if we can move back here and get a better view. That's a Fiji Island iguana. That's a very, very rare one. Uh, you don't see those uh, hardly even in books. Uh, very beautiful animal, very endangered. Uh, zoos are working on captive breeding to uh, keep the species going. Uh, only because it's found on the Fiji Island and you know, yeah, there ain't, due to uh, all the uh, uh, human development on the islands, uh, he's losing his habitat. Where have you heard that story before? Unfortunately, uh, this little Chinese crocodile is uh, in a place where you really can't see him. I have one friend that would uh, uh, sacrifice certain select portions of his uh, most valued anatomy to, uh, uh, to have one of these, but they're endangered. They're only found in China, and uh, there's not terribly many of them in the United States. Okay, now we're in up under the dome to look at uh, all sorts of things that uh, are here. I know they have orchids. There's some birds flying around in here. Very lush and tropical, but you know that's not what we're here for. Here's your run-of-the-mill green tree pythons, uh, Morelia viridis. Here's a cobra that you don't often see in collections. Uh, and Terry's had the most of uh, this species in the U.S. It's a Russian cobra, Naja oxiana. Oh, we're a bit aggressive today, huh? We like aggro, don't we, huh? Well, he's doing as close to uh, Russian Cobra Cam as one can get. But at least he's putting on a nice show for us. And I apologize ahead of time for the glare, but uh, that's the way it goes. Here's some Arizona blacks. And boy, is the reflection really bad from the dome. Let's see. We have black headed pythons, complete with the appropriate black head. Hi. Here's some very nice Serasti Serastis. Good size. Terry's got one downstairs that's almost as big as Spike. Here's a rhino viper, one that was confiscated uh, from someone's collection who had it where he really shouldn't have it. This is a Jameson's Mamba. Most of uh, you are familiar with my collection. I have a few of these, but this is a monster size one. 
Um, my little five footers really give me a run for my money without having to tangle with something this big and this strong. Again, Dendrapsis Jamesoni. Here we just have some uh, Corallis and Hydrus, little uh, Amazon tree snakes, tree boas. It's a nice. Uh, here's a nice basilicus, but not like the one that you'll see on video later. Uh, this guy is a is a dwarf compared to it. Here's a nice land mullet just hanging out. Here's a beautiful Mexican blacktail. Um, Although it's it's not as beautiful as an Arizona blacktail, it definitely has uh, uh, a nice look to it. This retic, according to Terry and his fellow keepers, is the most dangerous snake in here to work with. It is a huge, huge retic and is known to bite and coil around you and just give you one heck of a fun time. See, that's why I don't work with these guys because you definitely can't work with them alone and, and even two people is, uh, is not enough. You need probably a good four or five people uh, to maybe somewhat control this uh, retic. I don't know if you guys remember this little gal. The little green meanie. Remember this little creature that was giving me such a hard time? Terry has her uh, on display. He's got four other greens for me downstairs uh, in the off exhibit. But the green meanie's doing well. And this is another Samar Cobra that you'll see on the video. Uh, and these guys are spitters. As you can see, the glass is painted with uh, venom. It's, uh, this is the female, and, and she does not hesitate in letting loose with, the, with her uh, water cannon. There's a beautiful Mexican Mojave. Pertilus scutilis, scutilatus uh, salvini. Yes, even Terry's got a copperhead. Here's a, a nice uh, East, East African Gaboon. It looks like he can use a shed. Here's a rather large and foul uh, Deboya Rosselli Rosselli, uh, the Indian Russell Viper. Definitely a very deadly snake. 